Alright, to end of the novice class, we're gonna be doing the final test of the novice class. And that is the National B License. This time, instead of 10, 16, or 8 of them, there's only 5 in each one. I know, crazy, isn't it? Which is the shortest one ever of the Grand Chester series. And, and so, of course, they, of course, they gave us test colors and they gave us what kind of details the test is going to be about. So, right as test B1 is going to be full acceleration braking as better stage without X. It's going to be with the 2009 Alpha 1 to 1.4 T Sport. And here you will be tested on your ability to accelerate and brake with control. From a certain start, you will need to get on the throttle and accelerate the speed. Then bring the car to a complete stop in the designated area 1,000 meters ahead. If you hit any cones or over on the stopping area, you will be disqualified. And they, gave, and they gave us some tips as well. You should aim to stop brake at the 900 meter mark. Don't hit the brakes repeatedly, but press the brake pedal in one smooth motion. To shape those vital milliseconds of your time, stop as close to the front edge of the stopping area as possible. They also give us the target times as to go as to know how we can pass so. Like for instance, bronze is all we need to pass, and and we have to get a time of 35 seconds in order to get that. Or if you want to get a higher ranking or more price cards, then go for gold. Some of these races are so easy, some of them are not, so yeah. And because of course we drive different cars though, we're gonna I'm gonna have to adjust this. Every single time. Well not every single time, but you know you know what I mean. As you can see, we have the driver section here to see as to see what we're Oh, we are going to be doing and also friend rankings that's only possible for online stuff so we can't see our friend rankings since we're not on since we are, we are not signed up with the playstation network all right here we go and because i started up this game again i have to switch off to this camera view um again also if you hear me like um, like, you know, sniffle a lot, or just coughing. The call has really gotten to most of the students at my school, and we are all coming down with the case, so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got to go easily in the first attempt at 32.456. What do you expect? <laughs> and the trophy, half a second clear. Now, unfortunately, unlike GT4 or GT5 or GT2 or or whatever metal, or even GT1, it doesn't have the selection where you can go to the next license test immediately. So here we go. License test B2 is going to be basic coining at Apricot Hill. Hey, I tracked it as a turn from GT4. How nice! It will be with the 20 Master Demir Sport. Here, we will test your steering ability. For starters, try your hand at the symbol corner. Smoothness is key to gain to the goal quickly and keep it on track. Here's the tips. What's important here is to get a feel for the tunnel response we feel in relation to your steering input. If you're steering by way of the direction buttons, you should practice helping them to achieve the desi desired steering goal. If you're ste steering by using the left stick, be sure to move the stick carefully and steadily. Okay, so, okay, so what I'm what I'm gonna be aiming for in the license test is to get gold. I know for usual that you get each prize card if you get bronze, silver, or gold. If you get gold and all of them, you get all three price cards easily, but they just they just move the price card for silver for whatever reason. And so they only have two price cards for the license test. One for passing it and one for getting gold. And look at this, it's only automatic transmission since this is kind of an electric car. As the driving section we're doing, um you can just pause over here to take a quick look at it. And so yeah, here we go. That took a while. Here we go. Basic steering. We gotta steer in a in a smooth manner. Perfect steering will help us get gold. You know. And of course I'm steering with the directional with the um directional um keys onto the control. The direction buttons, I should say. Hey look at that, 20.408. <laughs> Also, the first attempt as well, so yeah. Yeah, I steal with the direction buttons on the control. I don't steal with the left stick. It, that's just too complicated for me. However, uh, I do use it for some of the racing games I do. Uh, for these type of games, I just use with the um, directional buttons. 
Oh, my last set speed three is high speed coin. We had another new track, Silverstone National Circuit. <laughs> um, it will be with the Twister A Reynolds Bull Megane OS. Let's see how well you can handle high speed coin though. This turn may seem like a gender one of us, but getting the entry speed wrong up to recent going up the track. Make sure you don't go too fast if you want to make it to the finish line. Here's some tips. Take it apart with driver and spiral heel. You will need to follow the out and out line, which means starting from the outside of the corner, going to the apex, and then exiting on the outside again. Do this and you will take the fastest possible line through the turn. And you'll notice the effectiveness of this technique more at high speed. For your reference, the term apex is the same as clipping point. Both terms are used in this section. Alright, so I need to get a 15 age in order to get gold. Yeah, I'm just gonna get gold because I want, you know, both price cards from each license test. From each license, you know, test. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna have to remember, drive mine's off, you know. Alright, the driving section is gonna be, ooh, the first turn of the track. As you possibly know, that from this game. Okay, I just got a silver. So, yeah. Here we go, another time though. You can see the goals are semi transparent. Line is just, you know, just giving out a line, like, you know, to drive a line, but. Well, the semi transparent helps me out better. So, yeah, that was the second attempt done, right there, of getting gold. Too many background noise that's been being created. Alright, like I said before, it's gonna be taken on an Espino SS at another returning track, Turing Wintegi. Um, Turing Wintegi has been a DLC in GT5, but it's now with good content, and I'm glad it's with good content in GT6. The car we're gonna be using is a 2013 Ford Focus ST. In the sense, you'll be asked to take on an S section or an S span. Two consecutive corners that turn in opposite directions forming the letter S. Hence the name. Your ability to control Control your speed essential and gain through the turns quickly. Making it to the finish line without leaving the course will be the biggest challenge. Here are the tips. As with all corners, the most effective way to get through the SS is by taking the best driving line possible. Try to visualize an out and out approach and smoothly connecting the inside of both corners. Even if you're able to carry high speed into the turns, if you're still too wide to either corner, you'll lose time. In this scenario, you're better off sacrificing a little speed to stay on the correct line. Ooh, look at this, the same goal time, but different other times. A 15-8 to get past this. And there's no reason for me to just cut out the um, loading screens because it's not really that long though, to be honest. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we got everything in order and here's the section we're going to be doing. That S turn right there is on the east section of the ward course. Alright, let's try this again though. I just got silver, so yeah. It was my, it was a little off though, it's cause I didn't, I might not have controlled it steadily. It was also because, yeah, I got loose in the first attempt, so that's possibly the main reason why I got silver. Because my, because I just got loose in the first attempt, as you see by my ghost back there. Look at this! If I didn't get loose, this would have been an easy victory. To get gold. <laughs> Okay, I can promise you guys that one, that the um, of course the tests that you know guys go silver or bronze, they're gonna get tougher. I know so for sure they're gonna get tougher. Alright, the final license, natural B license, is gonna be the go to the NLC track, which is gonna be taking place at London. The car we're gonna be using is a 2010 Porsche RZZ. The test will see how accustomed you are to a racetrack set in a metropolitan environment. The biggest difference between this type of racetrack and those located in the countryside is the abundance of low visibility and blind corners. The goal here is to make it to the finish line without colliding to any barriers. Here are the tips. On city race courses, it's crucial to think ahead for every corner. Therefore, you need to drive this track several times or more until you have memorized every corner. Not knowing where the barriers are will make you drive cautiously. I sure way to slow down your lap times. So, so devise a racing line that gets you close to the barriers as possible without hitting them. So you can keep maximum speed throughout the entire track. Alright, so we need a 25. That sounds weird when I say it because it's a number 25. No, but 20.5 seconds in order to get gold. Well, else we need to just need to beat that time. 
I was very well to get a time that's exactly like that. It's very, very well. Alright, the section we're gonna be doing is gonna be right there, as you see by the blue line. And yeah, let's just get through these type of corners, shall we? Okay, this is gonna be tough because we're on the same track, and by the way, this is my first attempt, though, if you didn't know, so yeah. This will be tough, but we're gonna get through it. Okay, okay, okay. Getting through here. Oh, the tires were smoking. A little bit. Hey, look at this, we got gold in the first attempt, too. <laughs> Okay, so three out of five license tests that we've done in the National B license, we we passed go in our first attempt. Crazy. Two is because from um, the car got loose, you know. As you probably saw the go so. Alright, as you see here, we have acquired our National B license. Now we can enter the National B class race events. And we'll see what else we get. For the prize car for going to National B license, we get a Grand Jersey Racing Car Junior. We can pick any color, but I just like to I just like to pick a standard color because that's how I like it. I just really like picking um the um standard colors because that's I feel natural with that. Let's not get in here right. Let's not get in these cars right now. Shit, okay. And for getting our gold, we get <laughs> the 2009 Alpha Romeo Me 2 1.4T Sport. Alpha Red, Bianca Spino, or Edna Black. We're gonna go with Alpha Red because, yeah, still. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now that we got these two price cards out of the way, and some editing for me that I gotta do, the Novice Quest is officially done. And the next part, we're gonna be going to the National Beat Quest. But first, National Beat Quest for travel and season events are now available. National because offers more challenging races and more advanced rival cars. You need to team cars to perfection, or maybe even buy some new ones in order to succeed. In photo travel, you can take stunning photographs of your favorite cars in a range of breathtaking locations across the globe. Become a master photographer and put together a portfolio of pro level shots. Season events are special online events held from time to time, in which players compete against one another. Why not take a look at what's on offer right now? So yeah, season events, National Beat Quest, and the photo travel has been unlocked. Photo Travel is not really part of it though. Um, Season Events is just online, which we're not gonna get into. In the National Beat Quest, we're gonna get into the next part though, next time we get into this game. So yeah, let's just take a quick walk in the National Beat Quest before we end off this part. So yeah, it has new events like Mission Races and Warmic Races, and look, all the events here are unlocked because Novice Quest is just a one time thing with just, you know, stars and stuff. So yeah. We need we would need five stars for like mission races, ten stars for carpet challenge, and twenty stars for one make races and the license test. The next license test of this. So in the next part we're gonna take place of the first event of the National B Quest, which is a freshman cup. So yeah. So, hope you stick around for that. Alright everyone, thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a very good night.